hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be making a wide leg palazzo pant i have folded my fabric into two and i have marked out my vertical measurements i'm going to explain what i did to you from the top i have the waistline the hip line the crotch line and then the full length of the pant on the hip line you're going to mark your hip measurement divided by two and on the crotch line you mark the same measurement and right on your waistline you mark the same thing as well and then you take your straight ruler and connect the points just the way i'm doing here after doing that on the crotch line you're going to extend your crotch measurement by 1.5 inches and on the point where the crotch and the the, that line, the point where the crotch and the hip line meet, you're going to connect it, mark one inch upward and then cut it out just the way I did here. And after that, you're going to mark your waist measurement divided by four on the waistline, placing your measurement from that line and then you're going to connect down to the hip line with your core pillar like this. You can use your free hand as well, okay? So on the leg of the trouser the opening you're going to decide how wide you want it remember we are making a wide leg palazzo so you're going to make the leg very wide you can use as, as much as 10 inches i used 11 inches for mine and after that you're going to connect from the crotch line down to the leg of the pants like this okay so i also added two inches for the hem allowance for the front and after everything, I will just cut this out. So now I have the front. I'm going to show you how to cut the back. So I placed the back on the fresh fabric and I left about 3 inches on the upper part. So from that point, I marked 1 inch upwards. If you are a very curvy person, you can mark 1.5 inches. So I marked one inch and I slanted it into the waist of the front panel. On the crotch, I'm extending my measurement by 1.5 inches and I'm going down by half an inch on the crotch line. And on this crotch line as well, I'm marking half an inch from the top to the crotch point like so. And on the other side, this leg side, I'm going to extend by one inch, okay? So I made the back panel bigger than the front. By one inch on the leg side so once i'm sure that i've entered all of my measurements correctly i'll just cut it out so now we have the front panel and the back panel of our pants so i'm just going to label the back like so next i'm going to show you how you can cut out your waistband for your pants okay so i'll be using these pieces for the waistband I'm just going to measure my waist measurement then I added one inch extra and then I marked four inches downward because I want my waistband to be about 1.5 inches after attaching it okay so this piece I marked here is four inches by the time I fold it into two I'm going to have two inches okay and then I'm going to use half an inch to attach this to the waist of the pants that will leave me with the 1.5 inches I wanted, okay? So now to the sewing, I'm going to put the two back panels together and what you want to do is to take it to the sewing machine. I put the front, the two back panels and the two front panels together and I'm going to stitch on the crotch line. So now I'm going to show you how you're going to stitch this together, okay? So once you place the two together, you're going to stitch on half an inch seam allowance on that point. I'm going to stitch the back panels together as well on the crotch line. Now that the two crotch lines have been stitched, I'm going to place them right sides facing each other and I'm going to make sure they both align on the crotch line and from that crotch point, I'm going to start stitching one leg at a time okay so i just place the fabric on the crotch point and i'm going to start stitching right from the middle that's the crotch point down to the hem line of the pant so one when you're stitching you're going to use your hand to straighten your fabric to make sure that you don't have any fold or any kind of 
um, budge on your fabric okay so just do that once i got to the hem of the first leg i went ahead started again from the crotch line down to the other leg of the pants okay so this is what you want to do for yours as well so now the two sides the two legs have been stitched from the side i'm going to measure where i want my zip to stop and i'm going to leave that opening okay and i'm going to stitch remember to take your measurement as you are sewing or just stitch on the seam allowance you added for your pants okay so i'm just stitching on my own seam allowance that i added to this pant okay and i'm going to stitch to the end and on the other side i'm going to also close it from the beginning down to the hemline of the pants so once I'm done doing that I gave this a very good press and this is what we have you can see the two sides have been closed now I want to attach the waistband remember we left about some inches on the other side for the zipper okay so from that side we are going to attach the waistband and after that i'll attach the zipper to this pant so let's go over to the sewing machine where i show you how to do this okay so now i place the waistband on the waist of my pant and i'm going to stitch the waistband to the waist of my palazzo pant okay I'm going to stitch from the beginning to the end of the waistline. At this point, if you have any excess, you can go ahead and cut it off. So after stitching mine, this is what I have. I'm going to attach my zipper. I'm going to turn this pan to the right side, okay? So this is the right side and I'm going to place my zipper to it face down like this. And I'm going to stitch it to the zipper opening that I left so after stitching this side this is what I have I'm going to go ahead and stitch the other side but before then I'm going to turn it turn the wrong side out okay and from the inside like this i'm going to stitch you remember we started the other one from the tip but from here we are starting from the inside and we are going to stitch down to the waistband like this so you're going to align the zipper on your fabric and you're going to stitch it to it like so so i decided to take my time to do this so that you see it better than the first one so i'm just stitching the waist but i mean the zipper to the pants like so so after stitching on the two sides this is what i have i'm going to clip the excess inside like this and i'm going to stitch it to keep the excess zipper inside to conceal the excess zipper so we can have a nice finishing like this so this is what i did just flip the excess inside and then cover it like this okay flip it close it like this if you don't understand what i'm saying just follow what i did it's very very simple and then i'm going to stitch it to keep that excess zipper in place so that it will look neat and lower on the waist side so after that i'm going to measure my hem allowance on the leg of the trouser and i'm just going to hem the lower part of the trouser remember i added two inches for the hem allowance on the leg of the pants so i'm just going to fold that one inward you saw when i measured it with my measuring tape and i'm just going to stitch on it i'll fold it inside like this and i'm going to stitch so you're going to take this gently fold and stitch until you get to the end of the hem so i'm done doing that i'm just going to cut off my excess fabric and i'm going to iron this and this is the finished look of our pants i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up until next time bye